Hi, Libby again. I'm going to show you how to keep your leather products clean, protected, and looking like new. Your first thought might be that you don't really have much leather in your home, but if you take a quick inventory, you may find more than you originally thought. Do you have leather upholstery or car seats? Or how about maybe even a purse or a briefcase? You know, even shoes can be great candidates for the Home Pro Leather treatment. Keeping your leather in peak condition begins when it's new. However, if you have older leather, still clean and use the Home Pro Leather Protector. Applying Home Pro Leather Protector to new leather gives it the best possible chance of surviving old age in a usable condition. Then, the key to your leather performing at peak levels depends on keeping it clean and protected. Okay, let me show you how easy this process is. I'm going to use this car seat as an example. This is the passenger seat and it has been through some pretty tough times lately. It has endured those dirty jeans when you take a break from your gardening to run to the home center to get some fertilizer. And without fail, every time you open the door, the dog has to jump in on the seat before he gets to the back and then coffee and ketchup and all other spills that contribute to how filthy the seats really get. Now, watch as I apply the Home Pro Leather Cleaner. I know this looks really awkward and it's really hurting my back to lean over like this, but the camera's gotta be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm taking one for the team. You're welcome. You just apply a few drops to your sponge and then work up a really good foam. And once you've done that, you just generously apply the cleaner and lightly agitate it and literally, you watch the soil dissolve before your very eyes. Now, if you have tough stains or tough soil, remember that time is your friend. Just let it sit for a minute or two, but don't let it dry. Okay, once you're satisfied, all you need to do is take a soft absorbent cloth and dampen it with just plain water and then wipe away the excess cleaner and soil and it'll dry in just a couple of minutes. Beautiful, don't you think? Ta-da! Just like magic. <laughs> so you don't have to sit here and wait. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of this seat and then we'll move on to protecting your leather. Okay, now time for the protector. But before we move on, now that the seat's all clean, I wanna show you exactly what we pulled off of the leather by cleaning it. Here is the sponge, yikes. And here is the cloth we used to wipe away the excess soil. Pretty gross. Time to get your seats cleaned, people. Now to protect. You take your Home Pro Leather Protector and you just apply it to a soft, dry cloth and you rub it gently into the leather. Now this is invisible when it dries, so you want to work in a pattern that assures even coverage. So for instance, when you're working on the seat, you just want to rub it gently into the leather Start with the seat and work front to back. And then you're gonna to wanna to move to the sides and then the back of the seat from top to bottom. See how easy that is? All clean and all protected. We just saw how easy it is to clean and protect your car seats from further incident. Now, if you have a little more time, you can stay with me and I will show you how to clean a purse. First, get all of your stuff together. Make sure you have your sponge a damp cloth, of course, your Home Pro by Design leather cleaner and leather protector, and a microfiber cloth. These microfiber cloths are great for applying the protector. Now, remember these products, both the cleaner and the protector are highly concentrated. A little goes a long way, so you don't wanna overuse them or you'll just be wasting your money. Now let's get to the purse. And we're going to go about cleaning this just like we did on the leather car seats. So first of all, take your Home Pro by Design Leather Cleaner and apply it directly to your sponge. Remember, a little goes a long way. So just get a good amount of foam, rub it in there, and apply it directly to the leather. And just like before, the soil dissolves before your very eyes. Now once it has a chance to sit for a minute, take your damp cloth just with a little bit of water and wipe away the excess cleaner and the excess soil. And it is nice and clean. Now you want this to dry before you apply your leather protector. So I've already taken the liberty of cleaning the other side. 
so that we can go right ahead and use a leather protector. So take your leather protector and apply it directly to your microfiber cloth, a dry one, and then apply it right to your leather. And remember this dries invisibly, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's evenly coated throughout the entire purse. And once you're finished, you've got a fantastically clean and protected purse.